Created by more than 100 commercial florists and individual artists, Art in Bloom continues today at the Minneapolis Institute of Art. And I know you were sorry you missed this. I felt very fortunate to uh, experience the floral fragrance in the museum for myself with a guided tour. This is our 35th year, so it's very exciting. We are so excited after a long winter to have spring here. So this is actually a beautiful and an amazing community celebration of spring. You'll see the color palette of the blues and the yellows and the golds and see the texture that the artist used in the flowers to create. It's actually a very beautiful piece. The pedestal floral artist had, you know, some inspiration from the painting. Maybe they loved the frame, the painting. Maybe they had been on a trip to Venice and fell in love with it. Maybe they had interpreted a piece across the way last year and found themselves looking at this and yearning to do this this year. Our signature piece is a Delacroix, a still life painting by Eugene Delacroix, and so it's French. And the entire art in bloom it has a French theme to it. This year we picked this Renoir from, it's called Tamaris, France. It's a place, a location. We used these flowers, which um, the blue delphinium again, um, some alstroemeria, some stocks, some snapdragons. We found this cute little house and we thought that the uh, orange gerbera, sort of with the roof and the tiles, if you notice the, the texture of the flower, um, sort of to mimic like a tiled roof. So, Mike, I'm going to have you smell this and see if you can't um, identify what the scent okay. is in it. It's a very fresh sort of lemony scent to it. Um, it's lavender. So lavender fields in the south of France in June and July, that's what you smell. So there are so many stories behind all these different installations, and uh, if you go today or tomorrow, there are guided tours to help explain uh. some of what's going on. And then on Monday, when the displays are all taken down, all of the flowers in the show will be donated to Meals on Wheels recipients. That is really cool. Yeah. That's great. I need to get over there to see it.